Hey you guys, here with a hands-on look of Next Launcher 3D for Android devices. This launcher is available for $15.99 at the Google Play Store. Yes, it's very expensive, but before I talk about the price, let's show you guys what you get with this launcher. So first of all, one of the cool features you get here from this launcher is, of course, the swiping effects. But well, of course, that's nothing special for all the other launchers that can actually do this. Um, also, it has gestures up and down with one finger, two fingers. Over here, you can go ahead and change the effects just like you would on any other launcher. For example, go ahead and choose the 3D flip effect. And now you see how this thing flips right here. Uh, another cool feature that it has is that when you swipe over here in the draw, when you swipe up, you get this very, very co cool uh, 3D cubicle looking carousel right here. You can see every home screen. Um, if you want to add a home screen, all you got to do is tap right there and it automatically adds it. If you want to delete one, you all you do is that. It looks very cool, very awesome uh, effects. Of course, you can always uh, change this the way this looks. You could go ahead and over here. If I swipe over here, this is how it looks. That looks very cool. That looks very nice. If you swipe over here, it looks more like pages, like you're going through pages. But for me, this one is very, very nice. It looks very cool. Of course, as everything feels so smooth. Uh, also, when you swipe up again right here in the launcher, you're gonna get more um, features, more uh, features you could choose from. You could, for example, if you want to add an app, you can add an app from here from the draw. You can add an app there. You could go ahead and create folders as well. Uh, here, you could create a shortcut uh, over here. You switch uh, widgets as well. You could switch widgets. If you want to use uh, your widgets from the phone, the ones that come with the phone, you could click right there. You could choose any widgets from there. Uh, nothing special here. Um, over here, when you click wallpaper, you could see um, you could choose from some of the wallpapers available from this jelly bean, um, from this um, draw, from this launcher. Like you see right there, I could go ahead and switch there. Or you could go ahead and switch over here to gallery and choose your own photo as well. Uh, over here in personality, which is a very cool feature because uh, you can actually change the way your phone looks by uh, applying themes. Um, here you can see a lot of themes that are available. And if you click over here, it will take you to the Google Play Store where, where you're going to be able to download more themes for your phone. Uh, one thing I see there's a lot of themes that are still not free like for example this launcher theme Migo is $269 and like you see so on so on there's a couple of free uh, themes but there's also paid themes and you know for the price you're paying for the launcher that's like I don't know you know I don't know I don't think that's fair uh, over here of course these are the themes that are installed on the phone and right away if I choose one theme over here for example jelly bean theme I could go ahead and apply it and it will automatically change everything it changes your icons changes um, your homes your wallpaper as well if you have another wallpaper it will automatically change it to the new wallpaper okay right here now like you see there you got the jelly bean icons and when you go to draw you can also create folders as well. Like you see right here, you can create folders over here when you tap right here. It has a very cool animations when it comes to settings. You click right here, you can actually customize this to only get alphabetical order. Or I want to see this as new items applied here as well. Here you could go to apply some effects to the draw as well. And like you can see, you can also customize the way this flips. Like you see, this is a sphere effect. It looks very cool, very nice. Uh, but other than that, nothing special here. Of course, if you want to add an app from here, you can either uh, press and hold and click right here. And it will take you here to the draw. Or you can also click here. And like you see here, you can switch over here through um, pages. And right here, I could go ahead and put um, choose this and this, or go ahead and just drag it over here. Let me see if I can drag it. No, oh, it didn't help me. Okay, let me see. Like you see there, dragging it. So that's it. That's all you can actually do there. 
Um, let's go back here to show you guys some of the, the widgets you actually get exclusively for the next launcher. Like for example, the calendar launcher looks very cool. Uh, like what you tap right here, uh, like you can see the events. I like the way it looks. You tap right here, it takes you back. If you tap right here, you can see your events. And like you see, um, this also links to your Google Calendar, which is very convenient. And of course, if you want to add an event, all you do is add the event there. Uh, it comes with this also toggle, uh, power toggles right here. You can turn on and off, um, Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi, automatic, um, blue, uh, data sync. If you tap right there, you could go ahead and customize this as well. I could go ahead and add like a flashlight right here. Like you see, you can replace everything you see there. You go back and let me see you swipe over here I can go in and you can see the flashlight that's cool uh, also this uh, has this very cool simple looking clock you click right there you see the the world which is very cool and, and when you add a new location it just pins it to the map and that's how you change the time the dates over here uh, one thing over here one cool effects it has is the the folders when you open the folders and the icons you see how nice it flips open um, another thing you could do here is you can actually put uh, the apps anywhere you want there's no grid that you have to follow like you see you could put them anywhere you want and another thing when you tap and hold uh, you see this very nice uh, um, um, effects opening um, the settings you can go here and it opens more settings you could delete this from the home screen tap over here and you could change the way you could rotate the icons which are very cool effects there and of course like I said you could put them anywhere you want and another cool feature is over here when you tap over here you're gonna see uh, an, um, a couple features here like for example floating when you click on that um, all the apps on the screen are like basically floating on the screen and you, it, if you actually blow on the, on the mic like for example like you see right there if you blow on the mic everything starts floating around and to call back just click the back button and everything goes back to normal that looks very cool but you know for me all that is just gimmicky, gimmicky stuff uh, over here, of course, you have more features to apply to your 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 dock over here. Uh, gestures, you can go ahead and control gestures, apply the gestures here. Here, of course, if you hold that thing, you could just swipe up, drag the that little button up and down, and switch between pages. Nothing special there, and basically that's it. Nothing much to see here. Uh, let me go ahead and apply another per, uh, another personality theme here. Go here, go over here, and let's go ahead and apply this one that says dark. Go over here. Okay, like you can see, it changes the wallpaper, it changes the way the icons look which looks very cool when you open it up it also changes the apps inside the folder as well even also it changes the way the folders look like you see right here this folder looks a little bit more tra transparent looks very cool and that's it there's nothing else much to show besides these uh, nice gimmicky um, widgets uh, some of them are cool, some of them are gimmicky, and of course, for me, one of the coolest features of this uh, launcher is this right here, which for me is not that much of a big deal, and of course, for the price, um, honestly, it's hard for me to recommend this for the price because there is so many great options in the Google Play Store for Android devices that $16 honestly is too much 
when um, you could get a free launcher like Nova Launcher or Pro or Apex Launcher that can actually do lots of these nice effects here and lot, lots of these effects over here you know there's a lot of things you could do uh, with those that are totally free and if you want to buy the Pro version it's only about four dollars so for me if you ask me if this is worth buying honestly I wouldn't buy it I wouldn't buy it. Um, I, the only reason I got this launcher is because I got it for free because they had a sale going on like almost a week ago for free entering a code, a uh, username and a code uh, to unlock the pro, the full version. Um, of course, if you follow me on Google Plus, you might as well, you, maybe you saw it. I put it on my Google Plus stream. So if you go to my Google Plus, you're gonna see that I actually put it there and told you guys to just follow instructions on how to unlock this launcher. Of course, but I honestly, if I would have paid sixteen dollars, I would have been disappointed. But um, you know, I'm not saying that this app is not worth the sixteen dollars. I'm saying that there's too many options in the in the Google Play Store. Android has too many options that are free or cheap. Uh, but honestly, that's what you're paying for. You're paying for the powerful effects that this game has, this launcher has, and they look very good. But for a lot of people, this is just going to be gimmicky. And not everybody are is a fan of gimmick gimmicks. Uh, I honestly, I like gimmicks, but they, for me, they I get tired of them very fast and I just move on. And that's it guys, so just wanted to show you guys uh, the next Launcher 3D. Uh, it's a very cool launcher, but honestly for the price, I wouldn't recommend to buying it right now. So I hope you guys like the videos, and this actually helps you out before paying it. Till next time guys.